So hello and welcome to the Art of F.A. Checky. And welcome to F.A. TV, the YouTube channel uh, dedicated to my art, my life, my kids, uh, my philosophies of painting and many <laughs> art, uh, philosoph philosophies of very many things. Um, you see, always see me with my coffee here because I love it. And sorry you had to listen to that slurping of the coffee. But anyways, we've been working on this piece lately for, all, for about two months, almost two months. And uh, I'm proud to say it's coming out pretty good. Uh, nothing's perfect to me. And getting into the philosophies of painting, uh, you know, it's like, like Da Vinci, I look up to him very much as an artist because his whole thing was like... Uh, I strive, he's basically saying I strive for the moment before I die where I can look back on one of my paintings and say it was perfect. But no, nothing could be quite perfect. But if you look at um, Da Vinci's pieces, uh, he is quite close to perfect. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for subscribing. We're at 1,600 plus, we're 1,647 uh, subscribers as of this morning, which is awesome. So thank you for watching. Thank you for thank you for subscribing. But please keep watching. Please, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button there and subscribe. Uh, Fifty percent, half of all we make on monetization will go to the arts. Will go to good causes like endangered species, the environment, climate change. Will go to uh, the homeless, uh, the needy. We want to help others. So if you help me, I can help others. I'm not a rich man, but one of the dedications of this channel is I don't want to keep half of what I'm going to make. I want to give it all away. Uh, there won't be any Lamborghinis like <laughs> driving around. There won't be any fancy schmancy stuff flashing what I make on my YouTube channel like you might see on other channels. Uh, this is about being real. It's about helping people. It's about showing my art to the world. And so if you can help me, I can help many people, maybe even you. So anyway, but before we uh, start, we always uh, dedicate a little bit to Bob Ross. We light his candle as we always do. Have it right here. We'll light his candle. This is a nice one. This one has a uh, Tuscan eucalyptus mint. Uh, put the candle back over there. And actually, I was really... I was really excited that my wife got me uh, this pop, a Bob Ross pop. That was freaking awesome. That was for Christmas. And so uh, we're going to start working again on this piece. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about getting more done on it. Thank you for watching it. This cityscape large panoramic scene is going to be probably three to four months, maybe five, maybe six till it's done. So we'll just keep doing episodes. I think this is episode 31. So... <laughs> Keep making episodes until it's finished, I suppose. But anyway, got my uh, painting <laughs> hoodie on. I wear hoodies to keep paint off my clothes. Um, but uh, just to get back to the subject, um, going to work more on this larger building that's on the left side of the canvas. If you watch these videos, you'll see the previous episodes with more progress. My Facebook page, of course, um, the Art of F.A. Checky on Facebook. i got a page dedicated on there. And so, yeah, I mean, if you love art, if you are if you enjoy watching painting, this is the right channel for you. And uh, I want to uh, provide something for you that means something that's uh, worth watching. <laughs> some value here on Facebook. I mean, some, uh, some value here on YouTube, rather. Uh, because I think I, I see so many videos on YouTube, and one of the reasons I wanted to start this was because I saw too much noise, on, uh, so to speak, on YouTube and not enough substance. Meaning, yeah, it's great having fun as a young person, but there are some things in life that actually are more meaningful than doing pranks and uh, doing silly stuff and, and, and uh, hijinks of various kinds like... Uh, you know, that are just crazy nonsense, but that has its own place. I was young once too. I, I enjoy watching it sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, this is just loud and I can't handle it. So this channel really is for everybody from kids to the senior citizen. 
you know, if you like art, if you like it, listening to some middle-aged guy talk about all kinds of stuff, well, you found the right place. So, and you may enjoy, really enjoy this piece, um, seeing my progress on it. So stay tuned. If you're wondering what this is, this is a uh, styrofoam um, head that I spray painted a while back. <laughs> so, if you ever see it behind me, that's what it is. Old painting I did a while back. A uh, thing that you drink out of. I don't know what those are called. It's from Scotland, I believe, or Ireland. Um, wife got it for me. Kind of just give you an idea of my setup here. Um, I got this drawer. I bought an old desk just because I needed something to paint on to do this type of work. Here's a panoramic shot of the painting. We are going to be focusing in on this area. <clears throat> Put the uh, light down a little bit so you can see it. And you can kind of see my studio, how I have it set up. I got paintings and stuff, various things all over. Um, but uh, there's my light back here. I'm trying to look professional, but anyway, I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, kids are downstairs probably having too much fun. I'll have to check on them in a while. Or probably here in a second, rather. So we're going to get started again right in here. I gotta set up the camera, we'll get ready to go. Few colors though, Naples yellow, carbon black, white. I use using the zinc white. A light Naples yellow, we got some orange on there, cadmium orange on there. Um, Indian yellow, got some viridian and some raw umber. Those are the colors that we're using on this building. We'll try to get to see how much progress we can do in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Probably not a whole lot. <laughs> But that's the goal. All right, I really like that angle, so we're gonna go with it. Looks like uh, we're positioned to paint. A little tip for those of you who are uh, filming what you do, probably a good idea to invest into some lights. And so we're working in this building here, in this area. As you can see here on camera, and I just want to point out before I get started that your perspective lines on these buildings, especially something like this, you see how it's a really long with canvas, right? Um, that uh, you need to pay strict attention to these lines. And as you can see right here, I have my ruler, I'm paying attention to if things are straight with the bottom here. These line, this line should go up vertical, and I think this line here looks to be on. Okay, so um, what I was working on on this little edge here, and I'm gonna have to blend a little bit of it, maybe use my uh, little hand rest, is this little uh, bit of highlight that was just right here on this part of the edge of this wall. And I'm just blending it ever so lightly with this brush just to kind of get rid of the uh, texturing that came out from the paint. That's all I'm doing right here. So I don't want a whole lot of thickness of that paint. And as you know, with oil paints, can get rather thick. Um, as you apply layers, especially. And uh, certain type of painting, you might want that. But here I don't really want that. Okay? Don't want that much at all. I just want... A nice clean line here and to blend that in uh, as such I'm using very fine brushes small brushes of various kinds you can go to most of your art stores out there you can find them little kind of needle point small round tip more um, de fine detail brushes and just a, I don't know if this is my technique sometimes I like to let them harden a little bit with the paint on there so I get a sharp edge because as I apply more oils to it 
and maybe I'm uh, bad at taking care of my brushes, but <laughs> as I get some more oils on it, it tends to loosen it up anyways, and then I wash them later with some mineral spirits. Okay, the edge of this building here um, is going to have a slight, very slight um, highlight to it. And we're going to just take our time and go slow. Make sure your, heart, your hand rest is very well positioned. And we're going to do a little highlight here and do the edge of this ledge. That rhymes. Just ever softly there. Maybe wipe off a little bit of the paint. I have rags, as you can see, all around me. Oop. Make sure your elbow is positioned, everything's in position before you start. If you want to do this right, you got to be steady. Steady like a rock. And got a little highlight there. Now, I notice underneath it does need a bit of shadow. I'm going to just mix some raw umber and some uh, carbon black. Kind of soften it with some other maple yellow. I don't want it too dark. I need a fix. This end that connects to this ledge here. As we have a different contour, different uh, facade, tiny ones here and there. Now, on the other side here of the wall, where you have this ledge, has to line up uh, pr fairly precisely, or else you're going to notice a perspective line problem. And that lends to the credibility of the work when lines are all where they're supposed to be and pointing where they need to be and ending where they need to be. Which is nice about oils because I can do a lot of correction. Whereas with other mediums, I don't feel like I have that freedom. So. Something to keep in mind when you pick your mediums, why oils can be superior. The slow dry time actually has a value to it. Unless you're doing like wet on wet painting, of course. One of the things in this video uh, to kind of show you, and maybe it's frustrating for some, is that you're not going to see a whole lot of like Bob Ross style get a thing done in 30 minutes. You know, that's just not what this is about. And I think people like that finality, that closure on a work to see, oh, he got, it, he got it done in 30 minutes. And I love that. I love watching it. I certainly do. But that's not what I do um, unless I feel like I need an exercise in painting just to do something fun. Okay, so that ledge is much more I feel where it needs to be and I'll take always a step back and look at it and correct as I need to it is important to take a step back from your work look at it see if it's right now on this side this is more shadowed I'm going to mix a little blue gray with the light Naples yellow I just have a so in other words when I work the other end here it's more shadowed darker and we'll probably need to be flushed out with some other colors. Like I can use some rom or here, or whatever.
And so I mix it down and I can see it's quite light when I apply it to a dark spot on my uh, on my palette here I can see oh that's quite quite light. If I can kind of see where I penciled this in earlier, it's gone. This ledge is on its own underneath the painting here. There is a little bit of drawing. But the point is to get this line here, this perspective line, where it needs to be. Okay? You know, Peter touches well. There's a lot of lessons. And at the as we go here, I'm going to probably break into just plain uh, time lapse because I'd like you to see some progress. I'm going to get done today. But the lesson here, if there is much of a lesson at all, is again, and I, I have a previous video where I talk about the power of uh, perspective and painting, is that I think the people appreciate architecture, but uh, perspective applies in many things other than architecture itself. Uh, it depends on what you're painting, but landscapes have perspective. Um, cityscapes certainly have what we consider to be the, the more defined perspective with objects. But even small things still life have perspective. And that perspective is what uh, gives you the illusion of near and far. Okay, so we're going to pause the video here. And you'll get to see some time lapse because we are going to go way too long otherwise.
And right here, folks, today I worked on this portion of this building. This right here is a whole week. I started this a week ago. And uh, as you can see, this is slow going. It's not fast work, and that's fine. That's the way maybe that these type of work should be. But that's Hello. it for today. And then Callie just bounced in. Hi. Hi. So anyway, that's where I got to today. All right, everybody, this is going to be it for the uh, uh, 31st episode. Yeah, 30, 31st episode of the art of F.A. Checky on F.A. TV, where you get to see me working on this cityscape. And uh, you've come to see just how much one can get done on a piece, on a piece like this in just a, uh, a segment there that's time lapse. That was almost about... 45 minutes, yeah, about 45 minutes of painting, time lapse down. These things go slow for me. If you know anybody who can do it faster, I would love to see it. Uh, some people probably have a gift to do this type of thing much faster than me, but this is my my pace. Uh, each episode and all, starting with episode 26, um, is where we start this cityscape, fantasy, fantasy city. Probably going to be the last uh, big piece for the uh, remainder of the series. So I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Hi. Please like. Please share. Hi, um, hi Callie. Uh, I want to just uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying this current series. Uh, we're probably going to be going for quite a while till this thing is done. It could be 180 days completely. 180 days, six months till it's done. That's my estimate on this. A little gum. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. And so... Um, Anyway, it's just been a great time. I'm really enjoying this uh, cityscape. First time I've done anything like this, really. But again, uh, please uh, tune in to the next episode 32 where we continue with this. But so far, we've gotten to this point and... Um, Follow me! <laughs> <laughs> follow me four. subscribe again subscribe hit the button subscribe Callie follow me because I'm only at four I don't know if I'm at five because my iPad is in bed when I make TikToks on right her TikToks okay so um, anyways be the artist you were born to be the person you were born to be follow your I'm passion I'm to be a gymnast yeah follow your passions your dreams because one day you might look back and wish you did it and so anyway um I think that's important. I just want to end off. I always try to end off saying that. Uh, be the artist you're born to be, the person you're born to be. I have good news. Yeah, what's that? One of my toothy grew Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> anyway. Um, I have it. Until next time. So long, y'all. We'll see you later. Peace. Bye.